Greetings and hello. Just thought I would do a quick little video on my 18650 charger board I built here. Now this allows me to pre-charge 40 batteries at a time before I put them through their testing. I like to charge them up all the way up as far as these go and they're not super consistent. They charge to 4.12, 4.2 sometimes, but all it is, it's a pre-charge before I test it, so I'm not critical about that. What I like about these is that instead of the glass fuses that a lot of these have, these come with the automatic resetting fuses. This is based off the TP4056 board, which can be powered by USB or external power support like I did here. On this one here, I actually have a 5 volt 60 amp power supply to do my 40 batteries at once. It's got a built in fan, so it cools itself. A must have feature if you're charging. Um, the one thing I didn't build on this, which I wish I did and I probably still will later on, is a set of fans that blow across this thing uh, just to help keep everything cool as well as mainly the batteries. Um, I keep them cool for the charging phase and I do check them periodically to see which ones are getting super hot, which ones are not. And the ones that are getting super hot, I just pull them out of the charger. Uh, and as you can see, all the blue lights are on right now. Now, when the batteries are fully charged, they will turn blue. So I just pulled all these batteries out of a couple packs and as you can see they go in super easy and I don't know how easy it is to actually see in this light. Let me turn a couple of these off. But you'll notice that they start to turn red as I put them in. Now these also have reverse polarity protection as part of the design. And that's what these fuses, whoops, sorry. These fuses diodes do as part of the circuit board and like I said I love this because of its simplicity and the fact that I can just plug these in put a fan on it go sit at my desk let it do its thing and it only charges at one amp so I don't have to worry about it getting super super hot um, but bad cells will still get hot no matter what you do and like I said this can do 40 cells I don't have quite 40 here but that's okay. I just wanted to show off this board just a little bit real quick. And as you can see, everywhere where there's a battery, they have all turned red. Now, I mounted them on a piece of plywood and I daisy chained them together. And the way I did this, I had the power supply going underneath and they go to these center boards and then they're tied together. So I'm actually only having to go through one board before I get to the outside one as the middle board is where all the power comes to. And just hot melt glued it on the bottom. Nothing fancy, nothing special. It does its job. And like I said, I just pre-charge all my batteries before I put them through the testing. And I find I get much more consistent and much better results doing it this way. All right, you guys have a good day.